Welcome to Cooking with Abigail Rose. Today we're going to be making pinto beans as you see and we're going to be using ham hocks to season them. So here we'll have our next steps on how to do that. You just rinse. Okay. Once we get through rinsing it, we put it in this pot. As you see here, my dad is adding the ham hock to the pot. To cook quickly, the beans must be soaked. This is what you call a quick process of cooking your dry beans. You take a colander. If you don't know what a colander is. This is what this a colander is. This is a colander. Okay. All right, everybody should have one of these. You take your beans that have soaked all night long, and you, you've got to get this water off of them, so you just dump them right in your colander. It's okay to put the rinse in with cold water because they've been in cold. Water. Okay. Okay. So you just kind of like rinsing them around. And you just let them sit where they're at. Water is boiling. All right. Okay. With the ham hock. Mm -hmm. Dad is now adding the pintos. You have to add them while the water is boiling. Boiling water. You do not want to start them off in, in cold, cold water. water. Mm -hmm. And then you just, now it's cooking time. So about an hour into cooking, we're going to add more boiling water to the pot. So everything stays the same. And we're doing about Two quarts of water. Two quarts. Two quarts. And I just add it all. Okay, see how okay. the beans didn't go down? They stayed the same stayed thing. Boiling. Stayed boiling. You just stir them around. Then you take it. You take and put salt and pepper. You just do okay, salt. Table I salt. salt. Yeah, table salt. You just put it in the palm of your hand. That's about how much. Mm -hmm. You put that in, and you do pepper. Brown black pepper. Brown black pepper. You do it about the same way. A little bigger than a quarter. Yeah. See how your beans are now turning brown? Yep. They're getting soft. They're they are they are cooking. They are softer. So you just go and then you just say, I think I'm ready almost. I see another 45 minutes and we'll see where we are. And did we put red, red pepper, pepper flakes? We did. What we put you gotta red show that. Flakes. You just do red pepper flakes. You just sprinkle them. Crushed. Kirkland brand red pepper. Mm -hmm. You just shake them across the top. This is if you like it spicy like yeah, I do. Yeah. If you just put, you know, you just, Don't want to put too much though. Not too much. You just sprinkle them and they'll float on top. You know, about the same amount of red pepper as you do salt, pepper, and black pepper. Okay. Okay. And then you just stir it in and you let them finish cooking. All right. Okay. So 45 more minutes. We're gonna, we'll be we're back. Gonna, we're gonna, we'll be back in 45 minutes. See what our product is. At what temperature do we have the stove we on? We have the, the stove on on two. Which so kind of low. low kind of low. So we that's have it on low right now because yeah, for the last right. 45 minutes. Yeah. I'm mashing the beans on the side of the Okay. Yeah. Okay. So when it mashes, that means it's done. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. You're, you're through. Here's a final picture of the pintos. They're really good if you pair them with rice. So thanks for watching Cooking with Abigail Rose. Make sure you subscribe. And also a huge shout out to my dad because he's the real pinto master.